So this all begins with Shelly. Uh, this is Shelly. She is a great yoga instructor. She is also a fantastic human resources training specialist. And I'd like to dedicate my presentation tonight to Shelly because she got me started on this topic two years ago when she gave me the DISC personality assessment test. The DISC tells you if you have a dominant, interactive, steady, or compliant personality. And I don't want to talk about the test tonight. I want to talk about the creator of the test, American psychologist, Dr. William Moulton Marston, who you may know better as the inventor of the high blood pressure test machine and Wonder Woman. <laughs> now, I thought it was pretty cool that a guy could invent these three things that were still in use today several decades later, and I wondered how that came to be. And it turns out his wife came to him one day and said, you know, honey, when I get angry, I feel physical changes in my body. What's going on? So he decided to invent a device to measure that. Um, and that's how we got the systolic blood pressure measurement machine. Now, he started to think if we can measure the effects of anger on the body, what about other emotions like fear or nervousness? And he ended up inventing the lie detector test, which morphed into the polygraph. But to really give the world something that was dedicated to the truth, he said, I need to invent a comic book character. And his wife said, that's OK, honey, just make sure it's a woman. So he based it on his two domestic partners, his wife Elizabeth and his live-in girlfriend Olive. The three of them lived together until they all passed away. They raised four children together quite happily. But I was looking at this. Um, this really brilliant man, and I thought, well, how many other people are there like this who have invented more than one thing that's really impactful? And of course, when we research this, we find that we tend to think of people that are billionaire CEOs who become great philanthropists or rock stars who start their own advocacy groups, and that's well and good. But I was thinking more in terms of people like good old Benjamin Franklin, who was one of the fathers of our country. He was the father of the modern lending library system. He was the father of the flexible urinary catheter. I have no idea what the link is between these, but it doesn't surprise me in the least that a politician invented the catheter. Uh, <laughs> But we also have people like Franz Kafka. Franz Kafka was a great writer, uh, contributed a lot to early 20th century literature. Um, you may have read The Metamorphosis about a traveling salesman who wakes up one day and finds he's been changed into a giant bug. But like most of us, Franz Kafka had to have a day job to pay the bills. And his day job was to be an insurance claims investigator. He was tired of seeing stuff that grossed him out. So he is credited with having invented the civilian hard hat. On the Soviet side of things, in the 1940s, there was a Soviet inventor named Leon Theremin. If you have heard the original Star Trek theme from the 1960s, it sounds like a lady singing opera, but it's not. That's a theremin being played. It's an electronic musical instrument. Um, Leon Theremin also created espionage devices for the Kremlin, and one of them ended up being the grandfather of RFID. That's why when you tap your badge to the badge reader at the Metro, it reads it and it goes ding. So um, Hedy Lamarr was one of the world's most beautiful um, actresses in the 1940s. She was signed with MGM Studios. She starred in many Cecil B. DeMille films. She starred opposite of Bob Hope. But she was also quite a talented, um, a quite a talented inventor. This is an actual drawing from her patent. You can see her name right here. And she invented the secret wireless communication device. Uh, the government in World War II couldn't figure out what to do with it, but if you have Wi-Fi on your phone, you're using it right now. So I looked at all of these people, and I thought, well, what do they have in common? There must be some commonalities between them. And obviously, high IQ, intelligence um, is a factor. But I also found, studying them, that a lot of them have really unconventional lives or lifestyles. They tend to be nonconformists. They tend to shirk tradition. Um, walk off the beaten path, whatever cliche you want to use. Um, a lot of them tended to have troubled relationships and difficult love lives. Hedy Lamarr was married and divorced six times. Uh, Leon Theremin supposedly uh, faked a kidnapping to escape his second wife. But, <laughs> but I think the most important thing that they had in common was this lifelong sense of creativity and curiosity and always trying things that are new and always experimenting. And you could see in their biographies that they started very young working on cool stuff. And they did it well into their 80s when they were very old for those that got there. So I like to think that they think like Thomas Edison, who said, hell, there are no rules here. We're trying to accomplish something new. I hope you all can accomplish something new in your lifetime, and maybe more than once. I'll see you at the after party. Thank you.